Today's show is brought to you by Rohypnol. Step aside and let the big kids play. Wrong song in your ears. Sweet kids. Good God alive. Okay, fine. I can't sue someone because they're stupid. Good. Sorry, I'll put your levels up now. Good. There you go. <laughs> Good. Well, apparently, stupid is being defined as having an IQ of less than 90. And you can't call somebody who's mentally retarded stupid and sue them for being stupid. And that's the problem. We've got confused, but oh God, the dog's trying to get out. <laughs> and she's gone. You haven't even started today. Yeah. <laughs> So you can't you can't actually sue you can't actually sue someone for being stupid and and I I wasn't trying to sue somebody for being mentally retarded from an official point of view and that's where the problem lies because the way I'm using stupid is a uh, you know is is relative to the person issuing the the comment and by trying to sue her for stupid she would immediately apparently be able to retort back and sue me for uh, slander. Okay. Which means I would then go to court on a countersuit for calling somebody <laughs> stupid. <laughs> Which makes it even more enticing for me. But actually, I can't... Apparently no lawyer will take this, and I've spoken to two now, which isn't, I grant it isn't a good sample, but it was, it was enough, I was bored at that. They were just like, you can't sue people for being stupid. I was like, but she's suing them, and because it's a class action suit, and it's aimed at a company, it's, whatever, I don't know. It was just, I got bored listening to the same two lawyers basically tell me the same thing. I'm not done with this, I'm going to figure a way to to well, sue stupid people. I'm sure there's another word for it. Yeah, I was taught. Yeah, yeah. I mentally incompetent okay. is one I can use. Mentally. Right. I don't want to do that. I, I want stupid. I want stupid on the docket. <laughs> That's what I want. I want stupid on the docket. I don't think you can use that. It's, it's the case it's, of of Steve v some dumb bitch. In the case of stupid. <laughs> it's not like stupid. It's it, it isn't. It's not a word you can like quantify. That's the problem, Marcus. See, if I call her, she can then just sue me for slander, you see? Now, of course, I could probably Pretty retort sure. by saying, she actually, can't... I wasn't calling her that. I was merely describing something she has on her body. Yeah, but and when then, you go, oh my God, she's a... Then we can take her to court and she'll have to show everybody to prove that she does have one. What an excellent way to get see, see women <laughs> naked. That's fine. Okay, so you can't sue anybody. It's like that's this good. week. Oh, not really. It, it is it's not. for everybody else. It's not. Well, that's America, and I'm okay. not done with this yet. Because it's like this week is the week of, hey, why don't we put a story out that we know is going to piss off Steve a lot? <laughs> a man is suing his employer that his job was so boring for $415,000. Okay, to be fair, that was in France. France like not I said, in America. Like I said, right? I'm I might not be able to do this in America. I'm not done yet. Because there is the <laughs> international <laughs> courts. <laughs> right. And I'm pretty sure that in France I can probably sue people for being stupid. I, I doubt you can sue people for being stupid anywhere. 
I mean, you could try. I'm but not what's done with it, this. What are they gonna do? I it's what, me. Well, <laughs> you can, but only if it, it only if you play the victim, and you don't want to do that. No, I'm not playing the victim. I know, and that's the stupid part. It really does come down to that. If I can, if I can show some kind of personal loss. Because that's what one of, they were like. Well, you know, can you show that that you know that their behaviour is actually causing you distress? I was like, no, they're just idiots. And he says, so you're not losing anything. I said, no, I'm actually gaining content for my show. Well, you might be able to sue for like distress. God damn it! Why don't we have better listeners? <laughs> I'm really pissed off about this. None of you fuckers out there are lawyers. I need a show lawyer, like a real one, not you, Marcus. I love you and all, but you're not a real. <laughs> Let's be honest, okay? You have a Samsung watch. Uh, you know, so <clears throat> <laughs> we should bring Black Law into effect. Then I could have Leonard. Black well. Law, uh-huh. yeah, that's it. And that would be what exactly? Oh, come on, seriously, wouldn't that be so much better if we just did it that way? Just bring somebody's mum into the equation, like just really to smack who? Film. Go up to the go, <laughs> go up to the guy. Shit. Black Law. Yeah, absolutely. Sounds like something Steven Seagal would be in. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, you know, just you know, just going up to going up to the the uh, the, the woman who's suing Starbucks, right? Mm-hmm. And bringing big old black lady in there just to smack her about the head, <laughs> and keep smacking her about the head as she w- is walked out of court, and her constantly screaming, "Don't you ever go wasting all that judge's time again!" Oh my god, slap, 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 slap. That'd be so much better. Even better if you actually had the sound effect there, like you actually smacked your hand and did it. What this one? <laughs> Watch it. That's a, this is, is this is the edited version? Me, I I don't know. Actually, <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think it is. But yeah, this, this, this is <laughs> me and Leonard. We walk in. We we could be judge, jury, and executioner. Yeah. God, this probably isn't the edited version, is it? Probably not. Okay. I'll stop it All right. That point. <laughs> That's so. how not confident you are. No, no, you see, Marcus just said that he's wearing a t-shirt from 1998 and sandals at work today. Son, you don't have a job if you're wearing sandals at work, because any company that allows you to wear sandals at work, apart from sandals... Do you have shoes on? No, I have socks. Right, but you're at work. No, I'm not. This isn't work. Well, I don't mean like the show, but... This is is like a therapist chair for me. (laughs) And I'm right, I've taken my shoes off, I've sat down. You need therapy, what... Oh, that's their problem. <laughs> God, stop being the victims, but people. You're wearing a t-shirt. Yep. And and no shoes. Yep. So how is that any different Thank than God, him? God, he's wearing I, a t-shirt. I don't... Yeah, yeah, it could be a lot worse. <laughs> could have been as last you, Friday. As you all saw from Friday. So, I know, but I, I, I'm, I'm, I don't have a job here. You don't have a job I don't get paid here. to do this. Right, but in general, you haven't had shoes on all day. Do you all feel awkward? I'm entertaining <laughs> you for free. I fucking do- I Where the fuck am do. I doing this show? Oh, yeah, that's right. For personal. So you can make foil anuses. <laughs> no, it's no, it's therapy. I remembered. I was just like, hang on, am I actually doing this for people? I was like, oh no, I'm not. It's not, is it? God, <laughs> stupid me. It's for me. Let's be honest. It's uh. all for me. Um, wow, I have sticky armpits today. What's that about? That's weird. You're also a chicken. I know. I am. I'm a sticky armpit. Chi- it's like I have, I have like plum sauce under my arms. Well, that's weird. Sauce. That's no, no, I put deodorant on. Chutney. Oh, yeah, that sounds good. Okay, so... Um, <clears throat> <laughs> we both saw Big B's Big, Big B has it, right? He says, Steve, uh-huh. that's discriminatory. He can wear sandals if he wants to. Welcome to America. But they actually, wear sandals anywhere. It's actually, not just here. No, he can't. Why? You know, it's, it's, it is. It's, he uh, works for, like, I a am, big... I am totally against discriminatory. Hang on, let me work this Can out. Can DJ Discri- Ken wear sandals when he DJs? Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> but he would be fired if he didn't. Actually, he could even go barefoot with a little ankle bracelet. In fact, I would expect DJ Ken to do that. Um, okay, so the um, title of the show today is... Uh, um, oh god, it's, he's going to rant. I can, I can. No, hear I'm not. It. No, I'm actually not going to rant. No, I'm not going to rant. I'm, I'm going to. No, gonna sh- shut up, you lot. Good god, <laughs> I'm going to rant if you don't shut the fuck up. Okay, so <laughs> let's do this. All right. So um, I, I don't know if every, you know if everybody caught this, but there, there was a woman at Target. Um, I'm really starting to like Target. Uh, transgender <laughs> bathrooms and and now this. Um, 
uh, she was at Target and she was approached by a man mm-hmm. asking uh, some some advice about a dress that he was buying for his wife. Mm-hmm. And the comment was along the lines of, you know, it's sheer, you know, do you think it's too see-through and should she wear underwear? And, and, and this woman realized immediately this was the same guy that had tried to perv on her two years previous at another store. Mm-hmm. So, you know, being the smartphone I always think smartphone is a weird name for the phone because most people that own them are pretty stupid. They really should you have be a called. St- I know. I have lots of them. <laughs> you have five. I'm. I'm, con- I'm. I'm. Yeah, I know. Is but it's like compensating for something. Oh, yeah, yeah. Small penis. <laughs> and um, so, anyway, she started recording this chat. So I'm going to play the audio. Right. How Do you remember you? running into me in the grocery store? No, hey, where and are you going? Come back. Up. Hey, get this guy. Stop him. Stop this guy. <laughs> Stop him. Stop that guy. <laughs> Call the cops. Call the cops on him. Call the cops. So, uh, and it stopped for no apparent reason whatsoever. Okay. Uh, she actually runs out into the car park chasing right. this guy. Okay. Right. The guy actually runs across the car park and to the local McDonald's and waits in there. Mm-hmm. So she chased him out so far. The whole pervert thing. And just for reference, Target delivers a better class of pervert than Walmart. <laughs> the guy was smartly <laughs> dressed. Exactly. He was smartly dressed. He was quite soft spoken. He didn't say y'all once. It was actually quite refreshing. <laughs> so, you know, I think, ladies, if you do want to be perved on, I think Target gives you a better class of pervert than, say, Walmart. Okay? Just saying that. <laughs> what really bothered me about watching this video was the fact... Oh, of course, nobody on Periscope can hear that, can they? No, on Periscope oh. is, like, messing up today. Oh, is it? Okay. All right. So, what really bothered me about this was that this was a girl. And, you know, when I first heard it, I was like, wow, okay, she's running out of the shop after... and after this guy and she's shouting please stop him please stop him okay nobody people actually got out of his way nobody helped now at this point you have absolutely no idea what this guy is doing let me see whether she actually says anything uh, i'll just wait for it because my oh i i'm offline that's why um this will start playing okay forthwith Come on, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. It's <laughs> ruining my bit. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Bloody Facebook. <sighs> You're playing In, this from Facebook? Yeah. Okay. Well, I, it was the only place I... Oh, good God alive. Are they really just that fucking... Oh, God, I hate this thing sometimes. <laughs> Facebook. <sighs> Come on. Play. Stop that guy! Yeah. Call the cops! Call the cops on him! Call the cops! Get her! Okay, so fuck you, Mark Zuckerberg, and your dumbass fucking Facebook (laughs) bullshit shit. Stop that guy. Someone call the police. Stop that guy. Right. Right? Right. This is now, you know, I know we live in an age of equality for men and women, so let's face it, you women don't get any more importance when you're screaming help than a man would. So fuck you all, for starters. (laughs) Okay. Okay, but if a man was chasing another man going, oh my God, stop him. Oh, stop. Call the police. He would probably get some laughs, actually. But, <laughs> you know, you would expect. Right. I saw the Target employees on this video move out of the way. Of the gentleman's way. Sorry, well, the pervert's I way. I mean, first off, it's going to take a minute to, like, process what's actually going on. That's not, like, a normal thing that happens. You're not aware of the situation. She was the only one aware of the situation mm-hmm. that was going on. Mm-hmm. So, you know, when you hear something, you automatically turn around, and then you have to, like, assess... And process yep. what's happening and where you are in. Somebody's asking for help. Right. People generally don't ask for help when they were. I'm trying to kill that motherfucker. Can you all stop him from running? Because I need to beat his ass. Well, See, it doesn't happen. But isn't like the whole thing is that if you're Actually, in that trouble. Was a good one thinking about it. I mean, I, I learned this. I mean, I read this or heard this or something. I don't know. A long time ago. If you're in trouble, need help. Don't mm-hmm. yell help because people they think it involves them. And, and they have to, like, do it. Stop. <laughs> you should Run, yell something room. like fire that would involve them, and they're more In like... In Texas, that would they're... be a gun and a bloodbath. <laughs> fire! <laughs> but, you know, they'd be more Where? likely to see and go, oh, I need to help. Shoot first, it, it then makes aim. You, help, help makes you worried. 
Well, Whereas you fire, fire, you're more on top of shit. If you fire! Yell, stop him! Yeah. Like, fire! Be fire like, well, there's a gun. fucking fire. I gotta get out of here. I'm not gonna stop that guy. And then everybody runs out, and he's gonna probably have a good chance to photograph a couple of upskirts I've, I've, on the way out. Just. I don't know why that is suddenly a phone activated dildo. I don't know. Dildo. I just want to know which, one, know which one of your smartphones works stick. like that. Um, it's definitely not this Samsung. <laughs> that was the best camera. So, fuck me, right? Uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> so, you know, I, she, for starters, okay. I'm very impressed that, you know, Target does deliver a better class of pervert. Go on. Demi's here. Oh, hello. <laughs> Got to be your best behavior you now. Um... But, oh god, now I'm completely like. Uh, <laughs> I've lost my train of thought. You can't demi me in the middle of a sentence. You were using a phone dildo to take pictures upstairs. Oh, that's right, yeah. Okay. Well, well I, no, I was saying I don't know what f- kind of phone that would be, which doesn't work. You don't work have to an... keep doing that. <sighs> like the, the, the men in black thing. Here's, yeah, uh-huh. there we go. That's what that's, that's what I use. <laughs> <laughs> hey, honey, come here. Click. <laughs> Race your memory. Uh huh. Yeah. Before <sighs> and after. I don't even know what happened, but I'm wet. Uh, Demi says she has uh, her life alert when she falls. <clears throat> Maybe you could just have like a life alert and it like. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. I'm falling and I can't get up. <laughs> yeah, I just thought of where Demi Lovato probably keeps hers, and that's pretty awesome. <laughs> She didn't say that. I know. Okay. But that's where my mind goes. Okay, I know. Right. I know. Um, I know. All right. So here's the thing. This girl chases this guy out of Target, <laughs> screaming for help and call mm-hmm. the police. Nobody helps her. And mm-hmm. this is a real problem I have. Why? Because why? I don't... As, as, as a species, we are used... We need other people right you need uh, you know we work as a group that's why we're fucking all stood up people we all worked as a group you know we helped each other up initially oh upright mm-hmm. i can see over the glen gettys reeds <laughs> the glen getty reeds <laughs> yeah the glen getty reeds <laughs> sounds like some really backwater place in i was gonna say it sounds like yeah it sounds like a band like a bluegrass band <laughs> blackwater gettys yeah I think it's Serengeti, actually, isn't it? Yeah, Sorry yes, about that. Yes, yes, it is. I'm homeschooled. There's no reason. This year. <laughs> I hope you're all playing Gay Steve Bingo today because I just said I'm homeschooled I and I know nothing. that. So. I got nothing. I got nothing yet. Pathetic. You said fuck so off. So you can go to gaysteve.com and start the bingo. And um, Miguel actually won it yesterday, uh, but he hasn't given me adre- his address. So no foil anus for him. It gets reset every day. So there is a foil anus on offer. <laughs> Uh, it's the actually alien it's the pod. alien it's the alien special edition. <laughs> it is. It's to commemorate that uh, you know that uh, yeah th- there might be aliens. <laughs> um, so you know I. It's just the th- I I just I have this real. It's something that really does grate me of how little people will help other people out, and it's really strange because. You can guarantee, I see more people give a dollar to a homeless person mm-hmm. than somebody actually just helping out another human being because there's a problem. You know, and this, Is this chick, the in you talking? this chick, she's not like, you know, I mean, you know, she's, she's okay. Not that looks should matter, but let's face it. <laughs> I was let's, about to say. Let, but let's, <laughs> okay, let's, let's face out. it. Let's face it here. You know, I mean, you know. You know, if so... a bus accident is chasing a dude out of Target going, Ah, you need to stop him right now. Like that, yeah. It's gonna be... Are you saying you're less likely to help? Is that is this is this the evolutionary Steve talking? I would talking here? I would weigh up the situation of. Are you if kidding I, me? No, if you would let me finish, <laughs> because I need to weigh up that when I stop said pervert running out and right. said alleged victim catches up, is she big enough to beat the living shit out of him? And I still haven't figured out what's going on. Possibly. Oh, come on. When fat women get angry, they're pretty violent. I'm just saying. <laughs> what basis Skinny do you chicks have are on funny because they swing, miss, and fall over. Right, but they can pull hair. They're, they're faster. They yeah, can he pull didn't hair. have very long hair. I would take that into account. Okay. When I stop perverts, I always check certain things. In the video, the guy yeah, was even running fast. He was like at a light jog, and the old, I know, and, and I know. the lady was like, <laughs> I know, she was okay, like, but you're struggling. saying she was good looking. No, I didn't know it, that. I just she, she was somebody you would help. She was under five hundred pounds. Okay. 
No, but okay. So all just. Ju- his news. comment was, "I heard her running, and she was either fat or she was in flip flops." <laughs> yeah, well, that's that was true. his comment. It is because you can hear this. <laughs> well, Marcus, you know what I'm on about. You know, you you, you hear that, and you <gasps> stop. <gasps> That might just be a reflection so on American only society. you're going to help somebody that's better looking You know what? Not. If she hadn't have sued Starbucks and there would have been that much more ice in the cup, she probably would have been fitter and been able to chase him. It's an offshoot. It's, Here's the thing, though. It has nothing to do with it. It does. In my okay. mind, it does. Okay. Here's, here's the thing, though. So he ran across the car park. Still nobody helping her. Right. So this chick is... Sorry. This lady is running on her own. I'm trying to be nicer to women. <laughs> Based on what you just said. Well, that was a joke. I'm, I don't mean it seriously. Okay. I mean... Okay. Oh, no, come on. I would... I, I mean, I would... I No, I would help fat women. I just wouldn't help them get up. Because that would be... Embar- well, <laughs> no, come on. No, seriously. Okay, all the large ladies out there. The last thing you want is some guy trying to pull you up and can't. Because that's embarrassing for both of us. <laughs> all right? You're embarrassed because obviously, you know, you just you know have eaten your feelings and i'm embarrassed because i clearly don't work out enough to be able to lift you up in the first place so i would leave fat ladies so lying on the floor this is about you i i'm sorry we needed to clarify that okay this is, the, is it ever not? the the only reason this is the jane True. and steve show is because i think it would be too ostentatious for me just to go it's the steve show because that's it's all about me honey okay ironically you're mostly the one actually the, uh, marcus makes a good point uh-huh you should see a fat person running in flip-flops. We're incredibly slow and clumsy. But that's the thing. Everybody stops to look then. Because we're all just like, whoa, fucking good for him. <laughs> it's like, fucking hell. He's not only fat, he's in flip-flops and he's running. <laughs> I mean, seriously. I mean, if you got rid of the weight and the flip-flops, that's a marathon runner right there. Really, I mean, if you're in a, in a situation where you have to run after somebody. I take my shoes off. Really? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. So you took your shoes off when you had to run over to the car to save the lady that from the car. That was I was like, in flip-flops. You were in flip-flops. I was in my uh, Adidas things on. And yes, I took them off. Don't you remember? Did you hear that, Marcus? Left. He actually admitted I had he those, owns flip-flops. I had those. No. No. You owned them. No. They it weren't was, mine. It was that time when I got so fat, my shoes didn't fit me anymore. <laughs> okay, your shoes would fit you. You just refused to go buy new ones. I couldn't fit in them. I had chubby feet. You didn't have that chubby of feet. I was 400 pounds. You could have still bought a pair of fucking shoes. Well, I could have bought them. I just didn't want to. Right, exactly what I just well, said. Well, fat shoes look awful. <laughs> I didn't want to buy fat um, shoes. Fat shoes. Yeah. And the, and the skinny shoes just made me look ridiculous because the fat hung out on the sides. It was just little... <laughs> looked like trying to put like bread dough into a shoe. It's just leaking over the side. So anyway, so... uh, Back to your flip-flop running. Yeah, so anyway, she chased him out. He actually runs across the car park into um, uh, McDonald's. Uh, She keeps an eye on him. I don't know at what distance, because she was still in the uh, the McDonald's car park, uh, in the Target car park. And she called the cops, and the cops Mm -hmm. were on the way. And he clearly noticed enough people get bored because he made a run for it back to his truck that was in the car park parking lot, jumped in, flew out, nearly hit the police officer. Apparently he was arrested at gunpoint in the end because he fled from the cops, and he has a record of voyeurism. My point here, and this to me is more of a point than the fact that there was a voyeur in Target, what a surprise, low quality, high quality from a Walmart standpoint, but low quality if you're trying to eye up chicks in Target. to, to, To be fair, he looked creepy. I but he know. was well dressed. I'm sorry. Well dressed. I'm sorry. Everybody that's listening, please write down what a pervert in Walmart would be dressed like. Just write it down. I'm going to tell you right now. It's not <laughs> what was in Target. I'm just saying. And what would a pervert in Walmart? Uh, Marcus, be dressed what are you wearing like? today? <laughs> he doesn't wear sandals to Target. He doesn't. He doesn't. No. He's quality. He can't walk on the floors there. <laughs> There's something about the floors. Dude, you're so gay. And that coming from me is a real big insult. So so my thing is this... And I see this... Con- I've seen this more... Now, I don't know. Maybe England is the same now. It wasn't when I left. Mm-hmm. I realize England has changed a lot. But there seems to be this nature of people just not wanting to help anybody anymore. 
when people are in trouble they don't help people and i don't right. it is the very thing that makes us human why why and i've really tried to think about why you don't help people and part of the reason that i came up with was that and this stems from we spend most of our time at work those of us that has have jobs well those of you that have jobs i don't have a job i'm unemployed <laughs> um but <laughs> i guess this is okay that's why you're wearing socks today that's right okay. that's right no i'm not unemployed i'm an entrepreneur <laughs> same thing. it's the same thing it just, <laughs> it just sounds cooler um <laughs> see pj yeah you see big b said pj in a sweater see i mean pajamas and a sweater yeah for the pervert that would be in walmart okay you see so you know it's my point that target producer clearly a better class of pervert i don't think i've ever seen guys in pajamas at walmart i have have you? Yeah, and I see them here a lot. And it's, I don't know if you realize this, but see, I don't know. It's, see, as guys, we probably notice things that you girls don't, right? Mm -hmm. I could point out to you people in any store that are actually recording as they're walking around. And, I, and there isn't a time I don't go into a store where okay. I don't see do that you happening. see that? Exactly. What, oh, I'll show, why do you see that? Because I just see it. I noticed that it. it's like store cops. I can spot those a mile off. It's just fucking boring. Because they're all anyway. It's a long story. Like you can spot a DEA agent instead of a gay club. Fuck yeah. Okay. Yeah, they're, they're the married <laughs> couple. They just don't get it. <laughs> um, but but yeah, I mean, you know, it 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 happens. Clearly, women don't see that a lot because there are websites apparently dedicated to it. So I've heard. Of course. But why are we not helping people? That's what bothered me about the video was the fact that she was running out of a store. There was a guy pegging it out of the store without a basket. He was running. He wasn't pegging it. No, he was. He was at a light jog. He was. He, a, he was just. I mean, for you, it'd be no, pegging he, it. He, he, yeah, he was. For the rest it. of us, yeah, it's I'd have like to get in the car and chase. Well, whatever. It when he was inside Target, but when, as soon as he got out and he was in the parking lot, he wasn't running that fast. I just don't know why people don't help. I, I mean, when we were at Soundgarden, I didn't even know why that guy was running into the crowd. I was just like, fuck this. And I just joined in. Somebody said, what has he done? I was like, I don't know. But it was like I, the security guards were chasing it's, him. You but know, you when, have no idea what the situation it doesn't, is. When you're running from something right. and security guards are chasing you, the chances are, right, and I would prefer to err on the law of averages here, you're doing something wrong. Okay, right. I know we live in a police state. I know that everything is fucked for the average man. I get that, but let's face it: the end of the day, I haven't seen too many innocent people getting run down by the police. It's just a thing. I know if you're black, it's different. I totally get that. But I mean, if you're white, well, no, it's true. I mean, if you're black, you'll get stopped for no fucking reason and just you know whatever. I mean, there's one black family that live in Harpswell. Who do I see get pulled all the time? I don't see anybody mm -hmm. get pulled ever. <laughs> oh, I have. The two times I've seen it, I've actually, no, I need to correct that. It was on the Brunswick side. I want to make that clear because the cops in fucking Harpswell are awesome. <laughs> two cops, you know that, right? No, it's not. No, this, no, this was a Brunswick police car. Okay. So anyway, not that I'm accusing them of being racist. I'm just going on <laughs> profile. <laughs> and, um, but it, but it's, it's that thing that we're, we're not, you know, we're just, we're not helping. And like I was saying, it, it goes back to, I think, our jobs. Because at work, you are people don't do anything anymore. Like when we were in Reading, that that um, uh, that Safeway manager got fired because somebody was shoplifting. Now we lived in Reading, Northern California, uh, uh, two times, and the last time was just for a year. And you would watch people shoplift there. It was that obvious and that mm. fucking apparent. Yeah. And and one, it wasn't in Redden, it was like, it was one of the other towns nearby. He got fired for chasing a shoplifter out. He actually caught the guy, got the stuff off him, and Safeway fired him. Because it's company policy not to do that. Right there, that's the problem. There's a guy that cares about his job, he cares about the place he works, he knows that customers wait. Okay. He knows that customers are paying for for shoplifters just taking stuff mm -hmm. he was incensed it was an injustice it is wrong he went out he chased the guy down mm -hmm. the company should have gone you know what it's not a policy but thank you oh. right and maybe quietly look don't tell anybody is 10 grand maybe they right? did that they didn't 
that motherfucker okay. <laughs> still didn't get his job back after everybody can, because corporates don't fucking stand behind their employees okay, well, ever to be fair i don't me. think that that guy was there to protect he was not like oh i'm gonna give my life for target's assets it wasn't Target. It was Safeway. A Safeway, whatever. No, he wasn't giving his life. Right. He was. He, he was chasing a shoplift. Yes, but he doesn't know what's going to happen. It doesn't matter. It's wrong. What is how? What this? I you don't... are fucking part of the problem. Oh my god! I just noticed. <laughs> you knew that before. It, it's you know one of these opinion. ridiculous things of like, I don't care whether it's fucking. He no. He just felt an injustice, right. and he got punished for doing the morally correct thing because the every single person that does nothing when somebody needs to help you're an immoral motherfucker okay well the guy you deserve in to die in a car marcus accident is gonna know about this. what <laughs> marcus is gonna know about this this happened yesterday in arlington at, at walgreens mm-hmm. right yep got a guy went in gunned down his like shutter in a leg like his girlfriend or wife or something like that another guy who was there with his wife and his three small kids mm-hmm. ran after the dude mm-hmm. got shot in the head and was yeah, killed well, he was in a, front he of was his... an idiot why is that an idiot because he wasn't protecting he wasn't protecting he wasn't and, and it was better she had already shot he had already shot her so the guy the guy knew there was a, the guy the guy that chased him the ex marine that chased him uh-huh. knew that the assailant was armed and clearly was quite happy to shoot someone now he took after that guy out of a sense of injustice right probably to make sure nobody else gets no hurt. he no he didn't the guy was running the guy was running out he had clearly shot one person was running away when people are running away why do they still shoot people if they feel threatened Somebody running right. away isn't, I'm running away so I can commit more robberies. It's not that. I'm running away to shoot more chicks in the leg because I don't think there's enough paraplegic women out there. <laughs> I very much doubt he had any kind of cause in his mind while he's running. No, the Marine so took you, off and ran after him. So what are you going to do? Let the, run, let the gunman just run off and you're going to go help the lady who got shot in the leg? The, is, that, uh, is that what you would do? I would have checked the woman first, but would I have chased after him? Yeah, I would have. You don't know you're going to get shot. I'm, I'm really lost. He just said he's going to go run after the gunman, yet he was making fun of the guy. I'm not that making ran fun of him. I'm gun. saying he's an idiot for doing it. Yeah, <laughs> okay, I, I, so you're I saying you're think, self-proclaimed idiot. I don't think idiot. he would run yeah. after the gunman <laughs> to like to get him or something. I think he would run after him. No, I would Definitely keep cabs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 See if he drove away, yeah. get his plates or something. Or, or exactly. If That's he exa- does start to shoot more people, then you. Then what then you, you going to do? the situation. I, I'm just going to go out on a limb here, right? Uh-huh. The guy tried to shoot his wife, right? And right. shot her in the leg. I'm going to guess that he can't shoot very well, okay? Well, he's, a, he's The an next army thing guy. I'm going to say is the guy that was... He was then... No, he wasn't an army guy. Yes, the guy that shot his wife in the leg uh-huh. at Walgreens right. is a military. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Well, wow. he was useless then. <laughs> well, I mean, seriously, why was he shooting her in the leg? I said yeah, wings! It is. <coughs> Maybe that'll remind you. Uh, uh, Stephanie said, yeah, you know. She what? Said, Bless his heart. That's awful. Yeah, it is awful because his wife and his three small yes. kids saw right. him get shot in the head right. and die. I, I totally understand. But you know what? Things like that, that's not a reason not to do it. Yes, he was an idiot for doing it because it was an armed assailant running. <laughs> I said, this Jesus, why sense. is that? Why? Okay, let me let me go through if he was my an argument. Idiot, mm-hmm. Then why is why is that something he should have done? Because that's what we need to do as a society. So everybody's got to be idiots. Confirmed on the James. Then Steve. I can <laughs> then I can sue all of you. <laughs> you can't do that. <laughs> no, let me explain this. Okay, two parts to this. The first part is somebody committed a crime. Right. right and was running away from the scene right now i think at that point i think everybody has a legitimate choice to make right okay and and i don't think there can be blame on either side if you choose not to chase after a gunman you're okay because that gunman is no longer harming anybody he's running away right get right. whatever details you can but keep yourself and your family protected there's also the other option you have to go that gunman is out there i don't know if he's going to commit anymore i personally think that I am able to stop him. That Marine, because he's a Marine, Mm -hmm. clearly thought in his head, I can stop this guy. I do CrossFit, which kind of discounts being a Marine, but I and I'm a Marine, I can stop this guy. He went out and he couldn't stop the guy. Right. Well, he did because obviously the guy has now been arrested. But 
That was a choice he made at the moment. It was a bad choice. Right. Right? No, you're missing my point. <laughs> because at the point of him chasing <laughs> after him, he did not think he was going to get shot in the head. If suddenly the Lord Jesus Christ had come down in front and went, Marine, stop. You will be shot in the head if you continue this pursuit. The Marine would have been like, yeah, thanks, Jesus. Walk back into the store. Everybody lives happily ever after. But sadly, God's dead. So that didn't happen. And as a result, he ended up dying. And he didn't really die for much of a cause other than it was wrong. What the guy was doing was wrong. And he, he felt that injustice and that anger to go, you know what? That needs to be stopped. So for that, I applaud him. Right. My point mm -hmm. is that you have that where... You know, he had nothing to do with the situation. It was not concerning him. Right. But as a bystander, he was like, this is wrong. I'm going to stop him. And I applaud him for doing that. And and do I think that he should be um, um, uh, commended as a hero? Absolutely. It was an idiot move because it well, was. You weren't there. You have no idea exactly. what actually happened. Right, right. So I know maybe the an idiot maybe move the is a bad idea. Let me put it this way, mm -hmm. right? If I was in that same situation and he'd shot somebody in the leg, would I have chased after him? Probably not. However, if that gunman had turned that gun to any of my kids and gone, you all stay there or I'm going to shoot you, and then he took off running, believe me, I promise and I swear on my kid's life, I would have gone after that fucker. And he would have had, and he could have shot me in the head. I have no brain, so it's fine. <laughs> I would have kept going. <laughs> I run on instinct and fat. He would have had to disintegrate my stomach to actually get to me. And that's better than Kevlar right there. You all know this. You saw it Friday. <laughs> Nothing's stopping that. <laughs> and worst case scenario, I'm going to shit so badly, he's going to just be engulfed in the stream of poo that will happen. Because he's shooting you? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'll turn around. <laughs> Physics. <laughs> Cap in my ass. See what happens. <laughs> Motherfucker. Uh, you know, so... I, I just... I don't think people do that. I, don't think, I think people just don't... Don't go after it. And it's like, you know, Steph said, I don't know anybody that wouldn't go after to help somebody. You know, but I actually don't think a lot of people do do no, that No, they anymore. don't. And that's the problem. You see, Miguel's saying he, you know, he's clearly Miguel is the same type of person that I am. And I'm, and here's the problem. We're nowadays, we're in this situation where they make, ex not us, but others make excuses. Well, I have a family to protect. Then stay in a fucking house all day in a fucking sealed box with oxygen, obviously, otherwise you'll die. And, and don't do anything. No, you, you take risks every day. And, and I'm so fed up. Well, you know, I, you know, I had my kids with me. Now, if I was just with my kids, mm -hmm. would I still have gone off him? If he'd aimed the gun at them, even just glancingly, yes, I would have fucking flown after him. Right. Not that I was being sensible, mm -hmm. but anger and injustice would have driven me at that point. But going right back to the target girl, nobody helped her. Yeah, she wasn't bleeding. She was screaming, call the police, stop that man. There's a guy running. None of those people there had stopped him. It's really not difficult to stop a guy running. I know. You generally stand in front of them and they stop. Right, but what I'm saying is that when she yelled that, it took a minute to process it. You have no idea what's going on. You just hear somebody yelling. She are, you, start, are you paying attention she was, when people all, start yelling? All Target stores are set up the same. She was in the female <laughs> bikini section, which I just happen to know is in the middle of the store. <laughs> and, <laughs> and he ran from the middle of the store, screaming. She was screaming at him all the way out and into the car park. Nobody followed her everybody moved out of the way i get if somebody's running towards you you move out of their way i totally understand that when you hear someone stop him stop him you've got an, you've got half a store to stop and he, sh nobody did it everybody just fucking left her <clears throat> so the gunman at arlington right mm -hmm. went and attacked his 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 wife right? right he fired the handgun twice striking her ankle a second time mm -hmm. right he, she was, she went into the Walgreens yelling for help, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. the, the the shooter ran to his truck after shooting at his wife's feet, according to the arrest mm -hmm. warrant. He told army supervisors that a man ran up to him and told him to drop his gun, right? Mm -hmm. And that's when all of that started happening. He confessed to slapping a, man, a gun out of the man's hand and shooting him, mm -hmm. and he grabbed his gun, mm -hmm. and he pointed it at the guy's car, right. and shot the guy in his head. Hang on. 
What? No, hang on. St- say that again. Do you need me to read that? Yeah. Okay. Read it again. Okay. I need to picture this. Everybody, be Shooter quiet. is named Braden. Okay. Okay. The okay. victim is named Johnson. Hang on. Hang on. <laughs> victim. Okay. Right. The hero is Johnson. N- no. The victim. The, the female victim. Oh. Okay. Right. All right. Okay. And and the the guy that got killed. Uh huh. Yeah. The dad. Yes. Antel. Yeah. Ant. Intel. Antel. <laughs> not Intel. <laughs> it's not a computer. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Braden got angry at Johnson outside the store. No Intel inside anymore. <laughs> Braden, Don't laugh at that. Braden got angry so at Johnson outside the store and fired a handgun twice. Uh, okay, hang on. Chased him out of the store. Right. Who? Ch- so, so Antel, shooter. Yeah, shooter. Shot the chick. Don't outside shout! The Don't store. shout! It's really hard on the audio. <laughs> Say that again. Shooter. Right. Shot the chick. Okay. Twice. Bang. bang. Okay. Ran to his truck. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Aqu- and, and that was all according to the rest warrant. Okay. He then told army supervisors that a man ran up to him and oh, told him okay. to drop his gun. Okay, so so Antel ran up to the truck, went, drop your gun. Yes. Okay, gotcha. Right? Gotcha. He slapped the gun out of the man's hand. Fuck so yeah. Antel had a gun. No. Or no? Um, n- no. No. Jesus Christ, we've just found somebody in Texas not armed. <laughs> and he's dead. That's not a good argument for anti-gun laws. And, oh, yeah. So Antel did get have a gun. He, he had did a, have gun a gun in his car. Okay. Ran after the guy. So he went to he his car. He, yes. Got the gun and chased after the guy. Right. So Antel went up to the okay. Antel went up to the, to the, the guy and said, car, "Drop your gun." So he was right. trying to take control right. of the situation. He, right. he had his gun and it was mm-hmm. pointed at him, and he said, "Drop the gun." And the, the guy slapped the gun out of his hand, got his grabbed gun, grabbed his gun, and shot him in the head. Steve. First things, <laughs> this is a prime example for, and I, I wish every American owning gun <laughs> owner in America would fucking understand this. Mm-hmm. You having a gun, that's a fucking Marine that had a gun. Right. And lost it and got shot. You think that your fucking Dodge Ram 1500 driving ass with a fucking gun, you think you're going to keep that? Now, see, some guy said don't draw unless you mean it. Well, I'm pretty sure he meant it. Or don't draw if you're no, close enough actually, to get slapped out of your hand. Because he was in his truck. If you right, just back away from the right, truck, right. he can't yeah. slap it but out of your hand. But you know what was happening there? Adrenaline was running. Now, this guy, clearly, I'm, I'm going to be honest now, uh-huh. right? He was a hothead. Probably. He, he got shot because... And it's easy to, you know, you get carried along in the moment. And I'm not going right. to, I'm not going to say that he was wrong for what he did. But I mean, you know, that was a Marine who was trained to use a gun. Right. Dodge Ram owners, 1500. Just okay, saying. Nobody said he had a Dodge I'm Ram. I'm just saying, no, I'm not saying, I'm saying all the other gun owners, right? He was trained constantly to use a gun. He lost it in a civil, civilian situation mm-hmm. and ended up getting shot. So for all you people that think carrying a gun is going to protect you, you are fucking idiots. And I have proved this point time and time again, and I'm not going to go on a gun rant now, but I am just so fucked up. You want to keep... I'm totally fine for guns. Mm -hmm. But the arguments you stupid fuckers come up with, oh, well, I need to carry it because then I'm protected. You ain't protected for shit. Go speak to any copper. Any copper will tell you... You've got one person saying, well, if you're going to pull a gun, make sure you're ready to use it. Yeah, oh, absolutely. And then what happens? You're going to get shot at any rate. Because if you shoot someone, unless you are really fucking trained, you are not going to put them down in one go. I'm not going to go on a gun rant. I'm really, really not. <laughs> now, see, the thing is, police weren't there. Police mm-hmm. didn't arrest him on the scene. Right. A friend of his, mm-hmm. or a relative, mm-hmm. actually took the shooter mm-hmm. to so he could turn himself in. Right. Well, he probably just drove off. Yes, they drove Yeah, on. so, you know, I mean, he got away from it. The guy turned himself now, in. Now, police told... Mm-hmm. The police said, uh, you know, uh, do not try to stop armed sus- suspects. No, and, and I, I completely agree with that. Right. One of the things, you know, it's like I know a few cops and there was a, um, a, um, uh, a sheriff who said he hates... Right? Now, bear in mind, he's totally for guns. Mm-hmm. He hates this whole idea 
of open carry or conceal and carry. He hates the idea of because he said the biggest problem he's seen, and he's been on the force like 30 odd years, is people that carry guns nine times out of ten can't fucking keep hold of it in a situation. They end up losing it, and then the assailant Mm -hmm. or the attacker now has either two guns or at least one gun. Mm -hmm. And he said that is the biggest problem. And he said he said as much as he thinks that everybody should own a gun, he said when you carry it out you're an idiot because you will lose it Mm -hmm. and the reason and i've said this for fucking years the reason is because when somebody's going to attack you they already have the upper hand because they know what they're going to do you are reacting which means you are milliseconds behind every single thing he does and that's why you always always lose and here's what happens when they don't lose and they win it makes fucking headlines and that's why because it's so fucking rare a toddler's got more chance of fucking shooting an intruder than you have. And that's how, we've got proof of that. No, I mean, Miguel said no one takes stress, you know, tactical no. firearms courses. Is that actually a thing? Yeah. Is it? If I was going to carry a gun, I would take one of those because I, you know, I, oh my God, I, you know. <laughs> you can't carry a gun. <laughs> Aussie nine yeah. millimeter. No. <laughs> Fucking spot on that was. I mean, you get in a car and somebody like pisses you off, and you're like, "If I just had enough money." If I just... <laughs> yeah, that's so right. you carrying a gun is not a good idea. Mm-hmm. Okay. I know. I right. mean, you said that the other day when we were pulling out of the grocery store. If I had enough money, all she was doing was walking across the street. I know. I know. My my my, <laughs> my gun is my Vanguard app on my, on my phone. I just go. Is my fun big enough? I could actually do this. Fuck no, not yet. <laughs> Fuck, let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna hit seven figures and i'm fucking mowing <laughs> motherfuckers down all over the place uh i, I you know i i just you know <sighs> I, I just you know i don't think you know and it's like you know big b said oh i wouldn't have gotten close enough for him to slap the gun out of my hand somebody else said that too dude it you doesn't it, i'm telling you yeah. well that's kind of what you were saying a second ago so what you know don't stand close enough it doesn't matter to you're not going to be aware of that you're reacting to a situation you here's my thing right think about everything i don't care how many courses you take i've spoken to one police captain one sheriff mm-hmm. three or four officers i've spoken to ex-marines i've spoken to very very good what are the i've spoken to somebody i'm thoroughly convinced is a fucking seal although he'll never admit it right i've spoken to an SAS guy as uh-huh. well and they all have ex- yeah yeah they all have the same opinion mm-hmm. it's all exactly the same they do not want civilians carrying guns because they're fucking useless at it it doesn't matter whether you're too far away or too close or too it doesn't matter you do not you don't there's a reason it's called the fucking army they train with fucking guns every single fucking day and they fuck up but you think because you have a Dodge fucking Ram 1500 and you fucking wear your baseball cap backwards with fucking wrap around sunglasses and a goatee fucking beard, you think you can fucking take out people when you're fucking shooting? You gotta be fucking kidding me. <sighs> so does that mean army wins over marines? No, fuck no. Well, the shooter was army. Right. I know, the but the there, Samaritan guy was marines. There's a plan. You know what? And I'm gonna call it right now. That mm. guy. Who went that day to shoot his wife, right? Uh-huh. Right? Was totally prepared to die. Yes. The guy who approached him was not prepared to die. And that is the fundamental difference. And I wish everybody would understand this. When you go up against somebody with a gun, the chances are that person pointing it at you, mm-hmm. they are prepared to die. And the fact is, the fact that you've pulled a gun out to defend yourself is you are not ready to die and there's the difference that's why school shooters kill so many people it's got nothing to do it doesn't matter if the whole fucking school was armed they would still kill more people because at the end of the day they don't care about anybody else anymore and you still care about your sorry ass that's That's the problem one of our listeners just made um everybody goes quiet in the chat room well, no, Miguel's going America. Yeah. <laughs> know, um, he's, but, he's a bastard. <laughs> but it's like one of one of our listeners just said. You know, you can't point a gun at somebody because basically, mm-hmm. when you point a gun at somebody, you're yep. putting them in mortal danger. Yep. They're gonna act unpredictably. Yeah. yeah. So uh, you know, it is it, it is right, and I just you know I and you know I am so off point now of what we were trying to talk about. Mm-hmm. 
you know, and I don't want to go on about the gun thing because it, 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 it's, such an, it's such an emotive subject and people get so angry that like, well, I should be able to carry a gun. No, you actually shouldn't. I, you well, know, I, the point. You know, it, it's, that guy helped. It didn't go well. You no. know, and Mar- but Marcus let's be made honest. the point earlier. He said, you know, if I if I would have seen, you know, the target thing, he would have stopped the guy at target. He would have ran after the right. guy at target. Right, exactly. He said I would shoot, totally expect that, you know, him to do that. You know, the gun thing mm-hmm. at Walgreens. He said, I don't know. Yeah, and and I'm totally with Marcus on that one mm-hmm. because when somebody's armed, even if I had a gun. The fact that that guy has already pulled out and shot another human being and, you know, I'm sorry, you guys can go to as many fucking ranges as you want. Until you've actually been point blank and killed someone, Mm -hmm. you don't, that's a line that you have to mentally cross before you pull that trigger. And the fact is, is that the fact he had already crossed that line and ran out would say to any normal person, that guy is fucking prepared to kill. Am I prepared to die Mm -hmm. by trying to stop him? And you have to wait up. And if you've got your kids there, you need to think twice. Even if you ha- they're not there and they're at home, you need to think twice. If he's carrying a gun, if he can kill you, because mm-hmm. let's face it, if we go to arm to arm combat, you you know I've seen the smallest guy beat the shit out of the biggest guy because when it comes down to life and death, you can pull things. But bullets are the great equalizer because you can be a pussy ass moron with a gun and you can be stronger than the strongest guy. So what's your opinion, Ethan? I mean, I, I don't think that. He should have, like, ran after him and confronted him if, like, he he saw that he just shot somebody twice. Because mm-hmm. that means, like, he was willing to shoot, you know? Mm-hmm. So uh, if he wasn't, then he shouldn't have. Would you go after the target guy? The target guy? Mm-hmm. The pervy target guy? Uh, I, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> But I mean, if, if a lady was going, help, help, stop this guy. Well, yeah, what would I you mean, do? I wouldn't like move out of the way or anything. <laughs> After you. <laughs> you get any good picks? <laughs> Should have gone out on that one. It's <laughs> a missed opportunity there. <laughs> Email me. Um, no, but and and I think that's the thing, and it's it's one of those things. And I don't think you really, until you're in that situation, you don't know how you're going to react, you know. Mm-hmm. And because if you ask anybody out on the street, would you stop this? People will, 99% will say yes. But when it actually comes to it, right. there's that there's that thing. I would expect Ethan to do it because mentally he has less to lose by doing that than than a family man. And I would totally understand, you know, sort of, you know, going after a gun assailant or something is a... It, it's not going to end well. One of you is going to die. No, no one's going to sit down and start singing Kumbaya until the cops get there. It's it's not going to end well. But in the Target case, what was the worst that was going to Maybe the guy did have a gun. You don't know that. That's not a reason not to chase him. You know, there was a woman that was in distress. Heck, even if it was a guy in distress, and that guy, and there's another guy running out, you don't know what's happened. Right, exactly. So, so you, stop it and let's get the situation resolved. But you don't know what's happening. What if he just knifed her? You have no idea what's going on. You I, have no idea of the situation or how dangerous that guy mm-hmm. is. No, exactly. You don't. Right. But you know what? That's what makes you human. And there's a difference between being a coward and being human. But that's what makes and being you a coward an idiot to go after a guy with no, a gun. I mean, no, a gun, you are you less likely to get into a knife fight with a dude. But if he's running and you're there, you can trip him. Uh, that's like the, the, the smallest Even thing you Even if he's got, do. you know, he didn't have a, you know, if, he's, if you're chasing him out of a parking lot and he stops and turns around and he's got a big fucking ass sword, fine. You are totally good to back away. It's different than a sword. But most sense. perverts don't carry swords unless it's in their trousers. <laughs> but, you know, that's the reality. So, you know, the fact is there was somebody that needed help. There was something that had happened. I remember when I was uh, when I was in England, there was a there was a kid that was abducted from a from a shopping mall, mm-hmm. right? And this kid was screaming all the way out and the guy ran out and nobody stopped because they assumed it was a father just with a very disobedient kid. Mm-hmm. It needed one person. And in that whole mall, not one person stepped up. Yet you listen. The interviews afterwards, all the, uh, all the oh, well, I, I, I thought it was just a dad and I feel so bad now. And, this, and that's the thing. Deep down, our nature is to help. Mm-hmm. And I don't know why we're all suppressing this now. I think it's just the way we are as humans nowadays. I don't think it's necessarily. I don't. I don't think. And that's it's why a, I love you, Miguel. 
because he would hockey check someone. I just think it's the way we are as humans. I don't think it's... It's not the way we are as humans. That's the problem. It's not... Nowadays, it is. It's not. I think think we've just kind of grown to change like that. I find it astonishing. You you know, you see places on... Like, I'll go back to... And I'm, I'm not trying to make myself out to be some, you know, cool guy. But when the car flipped in front of me, right? And there was... There was... Well, at least a dozen people fucking watching the car with smoke billowing out. There was still a person in there. They did nothing. Once I ran and I took the initiative and went ahead of it, I just ran through people. I didn't even notice them. Then other people. That was fucking dangerous. Yes. Right. And you had me and the kids in the car. Right. Uh, That That was another human being. What if the car had a gun? (laughs) I know. Right. It was a risk I was prepared to take. It wasn't because it was a Land Rover and that's English and we don't carry guns. (laughs) So I knew I was safe. If it was a Dodge Ram, I probably would have got the fuel can. She thanked Jesus for pulling her out of the vehicle. So you know she had a gun. I Yeah, I know. My point, and I thought what was... To me, the thing that I took most away from that experience Mm -hmm. was once I ran to the car and I got to the car and I could... I honestly... The problem I had with the Range Rover is as I was trying to get into the passenger the car was on its side so everybody realizes and i needed to get into the passenger win yeah the passenger window Mm -hmm. you know to to try and help someone out every time i tried to get to the vehicle the vehicle was going to roll over Mm -hmm. because it was you know the way it was designed that's when i suddenly noticed there were three or four other blokes that were suddenly behind me Mm -hmm. and that's what i took most about is that nine times out of ten you just have got to make that one action of trying to do something and others will follow you you won't be as a human uh, uh, us as a species we help each other mm-hmm. and yeah you're right there's some for some reason everybody stopped helping everybody else but it only needs one of you to do it and other people will come and help you and i had other guys there by the way they were all mexicans just to let all you trump supporters know so it was an englishman and three mexicans sounds like <laughs> a joke pulled out a white texan girl from a burning car I just want to take a moment and let the listeners know that you guys get to see a very rare glimpse of Steve showing that he has a heart. <laughs> <laughs> I have a heart, really. No, no, it's just fake. If I'd seen how <laughs> fat she was, I would never have saved her. But okay, whatever. No, but, you know, I, if I'd known she was a fucking Jesus freak. <laughs> <laughs> Pull the bitch out of the car, and that's the first thing. Oh, thank Jesus I'm saved. I'm like, but, I mean, you know, you could have thanked Jesus for... Perhaps stopping you in texting. In Reading, would you have saved that, that chick in the, like, you know, small black mini dress if those, you know, the black women that were fighting her, ripping her hair out in uh-huh. the bathroom, were, f- were chasing after her? Fuck yeah. Really? You're going to yes. take on five black women with long nails? Yeah. Okay. I will get shanked to death, I know. <laughs> be like, I got my drunk, nails yeah. done just but for this. You would have... Like you the Wolverines of Reddin. You would have died by the hands of five black women with sharp nails. Oh, I can think of worse and, ways to go. <laughs> Getting smothered by some black beauty. Mm. <laughs> nah, he, Let he, me he, sit he, on he would him. Just, he would have just pulled up his shirt over his head like he did when he was dancing. <laughs> he was just like, ah! <laughs> that's it. That's my scary tactic. Oh, he was drunk. That might have happened. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But, you know, I, I, I don't know. That, that, that would be my <laughs> thing. It was the fact that once somebody did something, I don't care whether it was me or whether it was somebody else, but once mm-hmm. somebody did something, there were other people that, that got involved. And it's like, you know, to me, it's, you know, somebody broken down or fucking just, you know, they've fallen over or something like that. It's by you helping somebody, it, it, it just makes a difference. And we're just, we're, the problem is we work for companies that don't back us up. You know, the, the guy at Safeway who got mm-hmm. fired for chasing, mm-hmm. you know, cor- corporates could change all of this if they just in, put a policy in place where, you know what, if you're being a good person, a good fucking Samaritan. There was another guy that What's got the fired the other day. Good? It's the same definition of being no, an it's idiot. No, it's, it's not. Being thing, it's not being a dick. Somebody from McDonald's got yeah. fired because a guy, a homeless guy, couldn't afford a meal and the staff worker actually paid for the meal himself. He actually took his own money out, put it in the till. He got fired there and then on the spot because that is against company policy, apparently. I don't know that the fact that McDonald's wrote in, if you pay for some homeless fucking person's meal, you get fired. They probably need to look at their HR department a bit closer. But my point with that is that companies punish you for being human. And and I think that's where the problem stems from. 
But they just have to save their, save their own asses because you have stupid people like the Starbucks chick. You know, people that just sue people it. for whatever. So? That's not a reason. I mean, this if is... something happened to the guy that ran out at Safeway, he could have sued the company. See, see now, Bigby, that is exactly what I'm on about. He ran out of gas. He had to walk two miles, right? Mm-hmm. Nobody helped him. You know, it, it is. It's, it's that kind of stupidity that goes on, you know, where you would actually let your car run out of gas. <laughs> <laughs> no, being a shit. No, but right there, that is a prime example. Mm-hmm. You know, it, now, I totally understand. It's really difficult as a guy when there's a single girl broken down. That's kind of worrying. Especially because she's in a miniskirt. Yeah. And you're drunk. Yeah. And you don't know what driving. All right, I love. Are you British? No, you want some? But, I mean, would you stop for somebody, a guy or a girl, that you know had broken down the side of the road? Is that something you normally do? Uh, I I pulled over and asked if they needed any help once or twice, mm-hmm. but they didn't need any help. But there it's you go. also like if their car is broken down, they're. I, I'm not going to know much of what to do anyways. Right. It, mm-hmm. Especially if it's like a, like a guy who's older than me, like 30 mm-hmm. or 40 or something. Mm-hmm. They're going to know more than me about what to but do. But sometimes it might just like be Big B. Actually, he just he needed a lift to go get some gas. And, you know, that's something that we could, anybody could do. No, Big B is actually being a man. He said, I was a motor, it was my motorcycle and I don't need anybody's help. I can help myself. He's just the idiot that ran out of gas. That's all. Right, but but you know, if I saw a, if I saw you know a biker and he had his helmet and he had like a, I guess you guys don't carry gas cans really, do you? But I mean, you know, if you're walking away from your bike, chances are, if I wasn't with Jane, I would slow down and ask if you needed a hand or a lift, and I would to- I would be happy to turn around and go back. I have. When I was uh, when I was in England, I was doing the lamppost inspection. Believe me, that was a real job. Uh, it was a good paying contract. But there, there was a there was a girl that uh, ran out of gas, and I mean, she basic. I mean, she took me for a ride completely. I mean, I'll, not in a good way, right? <laughs> she runs really? out of gas. I'm like, okay. I said, do you need a lift? I'll, I'll take you. I don't have a gas canister. I was like, okay, that's no problem. I'll, I'll just you know, buy one. What the fuck? So I gave her a lift to the gas station, right? Bought the gas can. And then she tells me she doesn't have any money for gas. I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. So I fill it, and it cost me like, I don't know, whatever it is, five pounds, and it was five pounds. So it was like 10 pounds or whatever. And, you know, she, I, I gave her a lift back to the car. She put the fuel in. She went, thanks ever so much, drove off. That was it. I mean, it was literally, and I was just like, wow, you're a really, really fucking asshole. What were you expecting? I know, that's the point. I wasn't, I want no, but it was a, look. She could have said, I'm sorry, I don't have any money, but she didn't. She kept adding bits to it every time we got there. And, you know, she did, she, too. did she? Yeah. But did she take advantage <laughs> of me? Yeah. But I don't care about that. The fact is, at least she wasn't. I, I helped somebody out. I don't think she was taking out. advantage of you. You offered to help. Yeah. I, well, offered to help is like, you know, do you want a lift? Like, you know, or do you want, you know. help you, but only if it's under $8. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> You know, I think you, you know. Have a gas canister? No. And this Sorry. Was, this was ten pounds in the nineties, which is equivalent away? to about forty bucks. Would now. you drive away? What? If she didn't have a gas canister or oh, money? Oh fuck no! Right. So what are you bitching I'm, about? Oh you my god! Have, you I'm not have helped her anyway. I'm not. Com- I'm not bitching about that. I'm just saying that you should help people no matter what. It doesn't matter. I mean, right. you know, at the end of the day, I mean, it was like, and she literally did take my last ten dollars. I've got ten dollars, ten pounds. Uh, which is like a thousand dollars to you guys, um, but it didn't it's matter. Like eighteen bucks. <laughs> it's close enough. So, um, <laughs> but I mean, you know, it's you know, and Marcus is the same again. You know, you know, his fuel gauge is fucked on his truck. So, oh, you don't have a Dodge Ram fifteen hundred, do you? Because if you do, I haven't been aiming this conversation at you. I feel bad now. <laughs> He's like, yeah. Well, I. <laughs> Let it go. I'll let it go. Uh, so, you know, but you know, again, you know, if I saw Marcus walking with a fuel can, I would stop. I don't stop with people with you anymore. Right. Because you are, sadly, one of those people that because won't help I had other people. A really, I 
I would help people. I just take, I, I guess, I don't know. I don't, there's not enough women here. I don't know if Stephanie's still here, but it's like, I don't know. Maybe it's more of like a mother instinct to more be protective and be mm. more cautious at going right. into things. And that's, right. you know, no, yes, I, understand I do that. help people a lot, but <laughs> would you right. like to say something to Marcus? No. Well, he <laughs> traded it in, so I mean. But he had one. I know, but he was only a dick up until 2005 then. So really, all, yeah. You're saying that he's not a dick now? No, no. Marcus oh, is all right now. He's obviously matured. He just has, he has sandals. I think one day, I, I think what <laughs> happened, he got up one day, looked in the mirror, and caught a glimpse of him and the Dodge Ram, and went, "Well, wow, basically, I'm saying I'm a complete dick." <laughs> and he was like, "I need to change something, and I can't change this, so I'm going to change that." Maybe now he has a Dodge Ram 2500. Better not. <laughs> no, he's going to buy a Jeep. He's all right in my books. Oh, okay. So I I don't know you know I I'm I mean I do help people I just help people in a different way you know my experience with stopping and helping somebody mm-hmm. didn't really bode well for me but that's not a reason not to do it <laughs> is it it's a reason to be a lot more cautious about it's, it it's not it's not because the one time you don't it's you know my that incident with that chick as an example yes that was totally my doing because I was like no we should stop and help her. And I said to you, if the next day you had seen on Reddit News that that girl had been raped and killed, mm-hmm. how fucking bad would you feel that you would have actually, you, she would still be alive if you'd actually stopped? That's a guilt. Right, but that's something you don't know. And you still no, have you to don't know. the situation So why do you time. not? So you should just help. You should help people. I know this is like Karen Steve Day today. <laughs> no, it's not. I'm, actually, I'm feeling really sick. <laughs> I just, there's, something, there's something churning in my stomach. I, you can go back to ship to shore and judge every single person there. I, 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 I don't know. Maybe I have Ebola. <laughs> <laughs> There's something not right. I don't know. Mark says a Nissan Titan. All right. Okay, now he's fucking... Sorry, yeah. a Nissan. <laughs> oh, you're moving. Okay, we need to know where Marcus is moving. I know where he's moving. You do? Yep. Well, hang on a fucking minute. We had this conversation on the radio before. Where are you moving? We're moving to like Frisco. <laughs> Miguel said, "Look what the roast has done." Yeah, I, you, you know, actually, I no, this is just a fluke. Don't. This is no, <laughs> I, I oh, do. I do. I have this discussion on the radio. This is one of those times. <laughs> I, I can see in your eyes you already are going to. So just yeah. Start. Well, no, it was actually funny because the, the roast thing was quite it was it was, actually funny. Yeah, no, it was hilarious. I really liked it. Right. And but it it, it it did actually give me pause for thought, and that happened on Saturday afternoon once I sobered up. <laughs> and I realized I was like, you know, I you know for for all my you know fucking around on the show and you know and and some of the god awful things that I say, you know, and and it was oh, who was it? I, I think it was it Miguel. It might be Miguel, maybe it was Ant, I don't know. But it, 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 there was some reference, you know, obviously I have businesses on the side. And it dawned on me, I was like, wow, if any of my clients actually ever heard me talk on the radio, I'd be like, wow, they would think I'm the biggest asshole ever. And I am, but I probably need to find better ways to, to hide that. <laughs> Stop doing radio? I don't want to do that. I think most people... Butcher. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good, healthy profession right there. What are the... Ex- I would, do you know what? That, see, now I wanted to be a butcher, God. but I just did fruit and veg. I wasn't man enough to be a butcher. <laughs> you didn't have the beard. No, I just no. played with the fruit and vegetables. I was like, ooh, carrots, woohoo. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, yeah, so I don't know. I, I just... So you're <sighs> saying Miguel's roast made you a nicer person? Is that what you're trying to say? I think it say? changed me a little bit, yeah. It no, made me, you just sound no, more worried you. now. You <laughs> ranted yesterday about <laughs> suing people to be from idiots. How yeah. did that change you? <laughs> Sorry, I'm no. I'm, I, I because that chick from Starbucks <laughs> does not need that chick does not need help. Right, but the point was you were just trying to suit idiot people. I'm actually going to try and <laughs> be a better person when I'm out oh, dealing God. with people. Okay. I mean, I high five the brothers all the time, which still confuses them completely. <laughs> it's embarrassing for them it's and for me. Embarrassing for me. I know. I know. I know. <laughs> What do you but say? It's... Do you say my brother? Yeah. Okay, hey, brother. Normally a hand up. Get a high five at least. Get a high <laughs> five at least. It's fucking awesome. I tell you what, I, I, I would recommend being black to anybody. The, it's like being an Iron Maiden fan. You feel part of a community. Even though you don't really know each other, you all kind of know each other. Being an Iron Maiden fan is exactly the same. What the hell kind of comment? 
I can't even begin to imagine if you're if you're an Iron Maiden fan and black. Oh my god, it must be like like having sex all day long to to the Iron Maiden community. Hmm. You just like in the black community to the Iron Maiden community. Yeah, yeah, we're all brothers. We. The cool part is. Yeah, the the cool part is obviously is is when you're you know when you're black you don't actually have to wear the t-shirt, but with Iron Maiden obviously you have to. Is that why you wear it? Yeah, well I'm wearing curb dogs today. Oh, you wearing Maiden shirts, Tony? No, that was the funny part. I actually had to look at what shirt I was wearing, but you know. <sighs> so you can try to be a nicer, nicer Steve. No, I nicer, think friendlier Steve. No, I what, no black high fives. No. Okay. No, no. Let's, let, <laughs> let me backtrack. Uh-huh. Let me. <laughs> yeah. No. Um, no. I. No. I think I want to be more aware of. I don't know. I think. I. I, I don't know. I think I'm just going to try and be more of a human when I'm out. Is that a good thing? Depends what era we're on about. <laughs> Like, if I want to be more human in the Viking era, well, look at <laughs> Steve's penis is coming before him, and probably on your face. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Maybe the nicer Steve will be back tomorrow, the more human Steve. Maybe he won't try to rant or sue people for being idiots. I'm not holding my breath for that one. <laughs> um, I... There'll be another story tomorrow, I can guarantee you. This seems to be the week of idiots. <laughs> All right. Uh, as always, you can follow us on our Facebook, The Jane and Steve Show. And I'm on Periscope, Secret Agent Jane, and also on Instagram, Secret Agent Jane and Viking Disco Stick. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye.